is trying a new uh, device for the Roco 4117 digital crane which I've actually already got one of these with the uh, shovel pickup which is shown in this picture here and it it's uh, that digitally operates and the whole crane digi digitally operates and it can be controlled via automation software or manually but the way I've got this other one connected up now is uh, quite nice I've got the Roco digital joystick connected up to it with the interface and booster but I never really noticed on the other crane but I've got these in the box now, the metal wheels on runners so they can be uh, interchanged you can pull off the legs the bottom of the fit the uh, crane and interconnect these metal uh, wheels which have actually got steel wheels and in obviously it can run along rails so it's really interesting how you can set this crane up so many different ways it's brilliant it's a brilliant bit of kit even when it came out I still think it was worth the money of whatever they re recommend I know it was about between 250 and 300 maybe even more euro or pounds when it came out but I think it's worth it and if you look inside the way it's made it's like a little mini turntable in there it's all like little swiss motors I wouldn't mind opening it up to have a look to see what the inside's like of the actual crane I think there's three three motors in there so what we've got is a Fleischmann digital transformer. The output going from there to the Roco digital booster control unit which you get with the joystick and the input of the power goes in one side. The crane goes out of that way and then you've got a jumper switch depending on what software you've got on the cranes. You move the jumper for old software a new software or you can have old software and new software running together depending on where you put the jumper then your joystick goes out from that side and then you've got your joystick set up there which controls a crane which is all labelled up as Roco I think it's just a standard PC type joystick you could use a similar one but the most important thing is is this unit here. Obviously, without that, you can't do it. No, it sets this particular joystick up with this unit. And I'm just going to try it now. So I've got it all wired up. It's all ready. Out the box, this crane is set at address number three. This is a brand new one. This is, it's address number three. So you've got to change it to address number seven. On this particular crane, which is 40110, change it to address number seven. Move the jumper to the right if you've got one of these, and then that will control this crane and two other cranes like it on just the one booster unit. Or you could, if you wanted to, you could control the rail crane as well which looks like that, that's the digital version of the rail crane and there is, I think there's another crane you can control as well so, oh the accessories you get with, with it out of the box when you buy it if you can get older one, it's just a hook but you can add an electromagnetic pickup which works digitally and that's 46806 and you'd have that in a yard like that say scrap yard or wherever and then there's another another pickup the shovel pickup is 46807 that's another separate device which I've got on the other crane actually in the gravel yard so anyway so I've got it all set up so when I turn the joystick you can see it turns like it would if you sat there in a cab go back again and then forward on the boom you can pull back on the boom and you can 
control it very, very, very precisely. So that there's no over stressing on the parts or anything. If you're using it in manual mode, using buttons, it can be a bit awkward. But you've got like an analog feel to this. You can move it slowly, and then of course you've got the hook up and down. So I've moved that forward. Hook goes down, and you can control it. So nice. As like the uh, Trix Markling Crane. That's how it works. Very nice. On these cranes, when you get them out of the box, if you if you do buy one, you've got to make sure all the the pulleys and the actual cable is all set up perfectly, and it's all on the pulleys, and it's not getting snagged. And also, there's a clutch. If you press a lever here, downwards. Yeah, when you pull down, there's like a little bar on the crane there. When you pull down on that, that disengages the clutch system for the, all the motors on board the crane so you don't damage it. If you snag the crane, if you're working nearby and you knocked it, you can spin it freely when it's disengaged, obviously. When you pull that up and then just move it slightly, that engages all the motors inside. So it's quite a nice... Uh, I do like this crane, but it's quite hard to get hold of, but... It's quite expensive when it came out, but just as a static model, I think it's really nice. Obviously, you could. I think it's designed to have one lane of uh, track underneath there. So, in the instructions, there's quite a few different ways to to operate it. I'm not sure whether if you've got a digital added add-on extra like a bucket or a um, the magnetic electro pickup plugs in on there. There's a little, there's a little door there. Just that black thing. You take that off and you plug in the extra items. Now, I'm not sure whether that's controllable on the joystick. Yeah, just looking at <clears throat> figure number three, it does say you can operate the um, the bucket. On the joystick as well, so that will open the bucket and close it, which is great because it can be really awkward to operate all those commands on the just putting them in manually. So, with this joystick, it does make operating the crane manually really fun. So, just thought I'd show that anyway. Right, so that's where the original crane is and still works. It's been there for a few years and moved around slightly, but yeah, it's really good. Still works fine. That's the bucket which we was talking about. If I can work that on that joystick, it'd be a lot easier. Um, so the new, its sister crane, which is identical, is going to go there in this corner. So. That can unload three different tracks. It's got the ability to reach over to this one. And this track, and obviously the one where the train goes underneath. So, yeah, pretty chuffed with them. I think there'll be a, that's a nice, makes the gravel yard a little bit more interesting. So I'll be wiring that up at some point. Thanks for watching again.